me ask a question. How did you get interested, John, in Robert Jackson? Um, I don't. I don't think you can be a a lawyer or before that a law student without running into the words of Justice Robert Jackson and finding something there that's very powerful. The, he was, by all accounts, uh, you know, the best or a, one of the top uh, few writers in the history of the Supreme Court, and his opinions convey that in a very powerful and um, direct, informal writing style. So it was first his words as a Supreme Court justice, and then as I began to work first as a prosecutor and then as a legal academic, uh, I found that the paths I was interested in kept crossing the paths of this man's life, and it didn't take me long to figure out that he really was, um, you know, from my view, uh, a central figure of, of his time, of his century, and that his his time is much, his project, his contribution is much bigger than the 13 years he served on the U.S. Supreme Court. It really is a, a story of, you know, I, I think somewhat the history of this country. Uh, a farm boy, uh, a public servant, uh, part of the, the inner circle during the New Deal, the creation of modern government as we know it, um, part of the creation of modern constitutional law, as we know it, and part of the creation of the international legal order as we know it through his work at Nuremberg. Um, so all of that grabbed me uh, you know, very powerfully.